Hi, welcome, Mark Anderson here, ICT Evangelist. Welcome to this edition of AppShare Live Shorts. So one little technique that I use uh, when I'm using Keynote to make my slides sort of stand out a bit when I'm presenting is to uh, create a bit of a Ken Burns type effect between my slides. So let's just see how that's done. So here we are in Keynote, okay. Just going to create a new presentation and just get a blank white one like so. I don't want the bottom bit there. And I'll just write in here, uh, this is my introduction. Very simple. I'll just make that all fit onto one line. And I know that I want this to be white. So I'm going to put this uh, text on, on the top of a, a dark image. So I'm just going to change the color over here quickly to white. And what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to bring in my uh, image that I want to use for my background. So I'll just slide this across here. We should be able to see that nicely. There it is. I want that picture there onto here. And I'm going to zoom out now. Okay, and just pop this into the center here. And what I'm going to try and do is create a Ken Burns effect. So when I introduce myself, I have a nice smooth transitioning image in the background, um, just adding an extra little bit of uh, panache and what have you to the slides. So I'm going to increase the size of this one to start off with. Uh, so I'm just going to go to here and I'll make that much bigger, uh, 2,500 pixels. There we go. And I'll just recenter it uh, like so using the guides, send it to back, there's the writing. Not very clear yet, so I'm just gonna to go to the uh, image section here and I'm just going to reduce the exposure and reduce the saturation so that uh, stands out a bit more clearly now, like so, brilliant. What I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna duplicate uh, this uh, slide here and I click on the image again and I'm gonna bring it down to be uh, much uh, closer to its original size now. So let's go down to 1300, let's say that should fit on there still. Uh, without moving the text by mistake. There we go. So back to the first slide, and now I'll go to my uh, transitions bit here, add an effect, and go to Magic Move, and you'll see that the transition is uh, sort of showing and happening right in front of you. So you can make that go a bit longer, say your introduction is going to be 20 seconds, so make it 20 seconds. And um, when you're running these, you'll notice that it'll sort of speed up and slow down if you have the acceleration turned on. So if you turn that off, none and just make it um, transition automatically as soon as you run that first slide and uh, go full screen like so it will just start to ease itself as you introduce yourself welcome hi thanks so forth and so on and it creates that lovely little ken burns effect for you there straight inside keynotes i hope you found that useful my name is mark anderson for more ideas check out my youtube uh, ict evangelist or my website ictevangelist.com thanks <laughs>